So the sequencing of the human genome revealed that about 50% of our DNA is derived from viruses, which uh, look very much like the AIDS virus, so-called retroviruses. And these sequences are the mark of ancient infections, these genetic invaders uh, inserting their genetic information into the genomes of our ancestors millions and millions of years ago. These elements have played fundamental roles in our evolution. Their control today is obviously of utmost importance because we cannot afford to have those elements jump in our genomes without being very tightly uh, repressed. That is the very first few days of our development in the womb that these elements need to be repressed. And in the mouse, by analyzing so-called embryonic stem cells, the mother of all cells that then differentiate, multiply and differentiate to constitute a whole organism, that we were able to decipher the mechanism that is responsible for silencing the so-called endogenous retroviruses in the genome of higher species, such as mouse, but also we think such as humans. For this, we studied the function of a key regulator of gene silencing, a protein that is called CAP1. And what we could demonstrate is that we, if we inactivate this protein in the genome of embryonic stem cells, then the endogenous retroviruses get unleashed and start copying and pasting, multiplying in the genome, resulting in the very rapid death of the embryo. Today we're confronted with an exogenous retrovirus, the human immunodeficiency virus. And we think that possibly some of these very mechanisms that silence our endogenous retroviruses are also involved in helping HIV become latent, that is dormant in a fraction of the cells it infects. And this latency, this dormancy, is what makes HIV therapeutics so difficult. The virus that sleeps in cells cannot be hit by the drugs that we give to HIV-infected individuals. So we think that if we found methods to wake the virus up, force it out of its dormancy, then we would succeed in better therapeutics in eradicating the virus.